Hook. <laughs> How are we doing, sir? I'm doing all right. How are you, Caden? I'm good. I'm good. A little slump of work, but you know. <laughs> I'm great, man. That's nice. But uh, I want to let you know, I'm going to lunch. I was wondering if you'd want to go. Gonna go hit up the, one of the bigger places downtown. Um, you know, I'm good. I got a lot of work here to do, and I got a presentation tomorrow, so. That's right. You're gonna be talking to all the big time executives tomorrow, huh? Yep. Well, hey, man, that's awesome. I wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you. Oh, hey, uh, so Jeremy and I are throwing a little birthday party for Mark's 40th next week. Uh, I was wondering maybe if you could pick up the cake on Friday? Um, I will check my schedule, and uh, I'll get back to you on that. Okay, sounds good. Just let me know. Uh, the place is right down the street from here. Can I ask you a question? Always. Do you know how busy I am with, like, my clients and, like, my presentation tomorrow? Yeah, I'm sure you've got a lot on your plate. I do. I do indeed have a lot on my plate, which makes me wonder why you're still sitting here talking to me. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to intrude. Well, hey, sometimes, sometimes it's too late for sorry. So. Mr. Hartwell? Yeah, Caleb. Or Caden. Caden, that's, that's it. That's it. There he is, the man on the mission. Mr. Hartwell. Yeah. How are you? I'm all right, but I'll be doing better once you have a presentation tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I'm just pulling your leg. Trying my best, sir. Yeah, I bet you are. Listen, don't stress this too much tomorrow. All right, just go out there and speak with confidence. These people, they love confidence. You're the man tomorrow, all right? Don't let me down. I can do that. And, and don't forget, hey, be there about 8.30-ish so we can go over some things. Yeah, I can get there tomorrow at 8.30. Hey, good deal. Hey, I can't wait to show you off these people. Don't let me down. I will impress, sir. That's what I like to hear. Hi everybody, my name is Lucas Martin, and I am here to present our new pricing strategy. Hi guys, I am Mr. Martin here today. <clears throat> my name is Lucas Martin, marketing assistant for Hartwell & Company. Today I will be presenting you with Jesus. <sighs> Hello? Hey baby. What's up? I was just waiting on you to get home. Well, I'm still at work, babe. I'm I'm just trying to get prepared for this presentation tomorrow. Well, what time do you think you'll be home? I don't know, Allie. I'm I'm gonna stay here at least until I feel like this project's done. Okay, well, don't forget your parents are coming over tonight. Shit. Take your time. I think they're stopping by around nine. Look, I, I can't promise that I'm gonna be there on time. Okay, I'm not really even close to being done with this. Well, Luke, your parents wanna see you. I think you owe them the respect of being here. I owe them? I don't owe them anything, Allie. My parents know how important this thing is for me tomorrow. I know they do, but they want to see you, Luke. You never put time into seeing them. Please do not lecture me on my relationship with my parents, okay? I'm not making it in time tonight. Deal with it. And you know what? They will too. It's not the end of the fucking world. I'm just so sick and tired of you putting everything before your parents and I. I come home and of course you're not there. I try every day to make you as happy as I can and all you do is shut me down. Allie, Allie, we're not doing this right now, okay? We are doing this right now, Luke. You have hurt me so much. Hurt you? I work my ass off at this job every day to provide for you. Don't you dare pull this shit on me right now. You just act like I don't exist. <sighs> okay. Allie, let me ask, who pays for your apartment, hmm? Who pays you to get your nails done? You know what you are, Allie? 
You are just an attention grabbing bitch. Luke, will you do this? Luke, will you do that? Jesus Christ, you drain all of the energy that I have left when I get home from work. You, you have no idea how lucky that you are. I have an opportunity for a promotion tomorrow and all you've done is pester me with fucking phone calls. So I'm gonna stay here tonight and I really don't care what you have to say about that. Hello? Allie. Allie. Martin, and I am here to present strategies. <clears throat> My name is Lucas Martin. I am here to present our pricing mm -hmm. strategy. I am Mr. Martin Lucas. I am Lucas Martin here today to present you <clears throat> with our pricing strategies. Hey Luke, hey you're on five, all right? Hey, uh, hey, where were you this morning by the way? Uh, I was just, I was just doing extra preparation for my uh, presentation this morning. Yeah, I mean that's, hey, good man at work. I mean, what's better than that? <laughs> Hey, um, I'm going to go back, but I'll come back and get you when it's ready to go. All right. Sounds good, sir. All right. Hey, don't let me down. All right. Hello? Hey, uh, is this Lucas Martin I'm speaking to? Uh, yeah. Why? I'm sorry to bother you. My name is Officer Morgan from the Chicago Police Department. Okay. Do your parents go by the name Bill and Helen Martin? Um, yeah. 
Well, we just got word that your parents were killed in an auto accident. Once again, I'm so sorry. I don't want to rush you, but we need you to come by the station to confirm some things for us. Once again, no rush at all, whenever you make the time. Hey, Dad. Want to now? Yeah, I can do that. I can, uh, I can be there about 10 minutes. Sounds good. Yep. All right. Yeah. I love you too, Dad. Bye. See you soon. The number you dialed is not a working number. Please check the number and dial again.